There are many different causes for outages and wild animals are one of those. What happens is um, an animal will be touching two different surfaces at the same time that are different voltage levels. That will cause a current to run through the animal's body. It'll cause a fault on the distribution system. Um, and in turn, that fault will cause whatever device is upstream of that area, whether it's a fuse, a recloser, it'll sense that fault and it'll open up, interrupting power to customers. Here in the Hudson Valley, a day like today, where there's no major storm activity, it's about 10% of outages are caused by animals. It's mostly squirrels. Um, they make up about 70% of outages caused by animals. The cool thing about squirrels is that they're really necessary in forests. Uh, they are responsible for planting hundreds of trees because their nature is to cache food. They take a nut and they'll dig a hole and bury it. Their memory is not all that good, so um, a percentage of what they, they bury turns into trees. One of the most dangerous places for an animal to be is on top of a distribution overhead transformer. Um, so what we actually do is we put a covering over the primary bushing of the transformer. It's made out of a non-conductive material and it reduces the amount of surface area where the animal could make contact. We use covered tap wire to go from the transformer up to the primary line. That helps too. The power lines are their highway. They're uh, a way of transportation from place to place. And then another 20% of outages in the animal contact category are typically birds. Certainly on our underground system, we do have issues with snakes making contact. And then in much more rare instances, I have seen mice, raccoons, a uh, beaver one time. Raven Speared Wildlife Center is a not-for-profit and we rehabilitate birds of all kinds. My role in uh, rehabilitation is supportive care. Sometimes it's going to the veterinarian, uh, sometimes surgery, medications. A typical injury would be uh, head trauma, broken wing, and broken legs. Ultimately, our goal is to release them back out into the wild. If you find an injured animal or orphaned animal, um, please contact your local veterinarian, um, go to the DEC website, um, New York State DEC. They have listings by county of a rehabber in your area. Each animal has their own little niche. Really, they, they all have their, their pluses and minuses. Um, and I tend to think there are more pluses than minuses.